This message is for the anti-Israel activists and peddlers of BDS. You call for boycotts of everything produced in Israel. Does that include this? Israeli scientists have developed an artificial pancreas that will revolutionize health care for diabetics. Do you wish to boycott this? Do you want diabetic children to continue suffering? The first cell phone was developed in Israel by Motorola. Does this mean you'll only use landlines? An Israeli company developed an ingestible camera that fits inside a pill. Israeli scientists also created the first fully computerized no-radiation diagnostic instrument for breast cancer. Will you boycott that as well? There are more scientists per number of workers in Israel than anywhere else in the world. More startups than anywhere outside the Silicon Valley. Bringing the world's leading corporations to Israel for their top R&D talent. Israel is, by many measures, the, the country relative to its population that's done the most to contribute to the technology revolution. Israel has managed to become a leader in business innovation. Israeli company hopes to revolutionize the green solutions market with solar windows. Window reduces air conditioning use and makes the building more energy efficient. At the same time, it produces solar power which can be used for electricity. In the Middle East, looking for oil, you don't need to stop in Israel. <laughs> but if you go looking for brains, for energy, for integrity, you know, it's the only stop you need. Israel does not have a geography which makes it appear to be best suited for agriculture, but still it has become a major industry with Israel being a net exporter of food as well as a world leader in agricultural technology. Motivated by global food shortages and the environment's alarming deterioration, Israel has become a pioneer in agricultural technology. Transformed an arid wasteland into an agricultural miracle. A lot of the innovation that comes out from Israel changes the lives of people all over the world. Israel is the fastest growing, one of the most dynamic entrepreneurial and innovation-based economies on the planet that barely got hit by the global economic crisis in 2008. Imagine how many starving populations could be fed. Imagine how many lives could be saved. Imagine how many more advancements could be made if the Israelis didn't have to worry about being blown up. But they certainly don't have to worry about your pathetic little boycotts making an impact. It is this sense of no matter what you throw at us, the Israelis argue, we will survive. Because Israel is the only source of innovation in the Middle East.